Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, sorry I haven't been posting as much. Uh, I'll explain that later. But uh, boy, do I have a video for you guys. So this is the story of when I started to work at Nosbury Farm during the summer. This was last summer, summer of 2021. So the park had just reopened and they were looking for seasonal employees to make up for all the employees they laid off during COVID and all that stuff. So yeah, they hired a lot of college students, had to be 18 plus. And uh, I signed up between, as a seasonal employee, between like my classes at uh, university over here in Arizona. But uh, so yeah, I signed up as a ride operator. It was a about a month of training. There's a lot of training that, that went into that, but a lot of fun. So the trainings, all that stuff, we had a lot of like classes and, and like procedures we had to go through and learn. But uh, first day training, which we, which was where we actually like basically went into the park and actually test test ride of the ride and see how we could handle the actual like having riders on it and how we could handle on all that stuff. So yeah. So first day training, active shooting. Oh no, it was, woof. So I was in the break room. This is like between all the, uh, cause I learned five rides. We learned all the lower like Fiesta rides, merry-go-round all that stuff. So we're, we're walking around a lot. So we went to the break room and as soon as I walk out of the break room with my group, it was three of us, we see all these guests running backstage we're just like what is going on they shouldn't be back here what are they doing so we look at the like someone waves us down and tells us to be quiet and we walk over and be like oh we uh guests heard shooting and we're like what the and then uh everyone's freaking out obviously the guests are panicked as hell um we all go to the security guard he tells us to be quiet he tells us there's a shooting we don't know where but he just says to basically go in this room we go in this room such a small room. I think there's a guy on a typewriter. What? Why is he on a typewriter? But um, but yeah. So we all hunched into this tiny, tiny, tiny little room. Uh, it was probably about the size of like two king beds. Like that. It's it's really tiny. It was about like twenty of us. So we get in there. We wait for the clear. The security guard tells us that all the commotion is happening at the front of the park. Uh, so he guides us all into this kitchen, which is a lot, more, a little more secure. So we get in there. And there is so many guests. There's people shoulder to shoulder. Everyone's freaking out. Everyone's like yelling for each other and trying to call each other because like they're lost, all the commotion, everybody basically ran for it. So everyone's freaking out. I basically have to tell them to be quiet because obviously we like, we don't know if there's a shooter or anything. So obviously they'll be yelling like we're here. But uh, yeah, and then the, some of the parents were like, grabbing like these sheet metal pans because we're, we're in the kitchen and with the grabbing these sheet metal pans and like covering their kids with them it is it is terrible oh my gosh so i'm like i feel weird because it's my first day like i don't know the park that well and everyone's looking for for like, like looking at me for like guidance and uh uh like as like an authority figure in in that situation you know what i mean and even some of my like employees not, not my employees but uh my co-workers are all like visibly like anxious and freaking out i mean i would be too like i mean it i mean i wasn't but it was like that that's scary that's scary like it didn't really hit me at the time but it's scary and then uh so yeah after a, about like 20 minutes uh, being in there uh they basically tell us that then it's the front of the park it's being like figured out and they guide us through the backstage entrance and everybody basically just rushes back there they take us back there they want us to go to our like employee like our our department's uh front office to make sure like we have our name down when we're there before we leave so we can keep track of everybody because everything broke like all hell broke loose so we get back there and there's everybody all the ride operators in this uh, room giving their names and they're figuring everything out and so they're like okay guys here's your options if you can go home and if you can go home i do not blame you do not blame you but a lot of the guests, when they heard shooting, they ran, they went into very, very obscure and weird hiding places. There's people in rooftops, there's people in maintenance rooms, there's people in gardens, there's people like in trash cans, everyone's like, so they basically told told us to go on a scavenger hunt and look for all the guests. I didn't do it because I didn't know the park, it was my first day, but, uh, but yeah, so I went home. I went home. So... And I talked to a lot of people. Uh, some people got injuries because they were in the ride operating room while the uh, the guests were jumping out and the guests were like 
running into this room and trampling each other. It was it was scary. It was scary. And but so I talked to some people in security. Actually, Lucas. Lucas is in security. So uh, he was working at security at the time. It was a lot of fun. We got to each other. But uh, what he told me, what Lucas told me, was that there's a drive-by shooting at McDonald's across the street. And instead of the kid that got shot calling for an ambulance or asking for help, he goes over to Knott's. And then I think they went back for a second round of shooting. And that's where the like real gunshot came through. But uh, but yeah, I mean, there it's so many mixed stories. There's probably an article about it online if you want to see. But yeah, so that was, I mean, I went home off my hands. But the next week, oh my. The next week, I'm operating a ride. Everybody's freaking out. I'm like, what is everybody looking at? And if, if anyone doesn't know uh, Supreme Scream, it's just like, I think it's 250 feet. I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. I didn't, I didn't work that ride. But uh, it's a tower that drops you up and down when you like you go to the top, drops you, whatever. Um, but yeah, so some guy managed to climb to the top of the tower. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Because we don't know if it's suicide or what what's going on. If he's just messing around, he goes up there, he starts taking selfies. Um, everyone's freaking out. I got to call the ride down. Everybody's like looking at this guy. Uh, so obviously we, we can't handle that. Um, so we have to evacuate. Like what, what, what if he jumps? We don't know what's going on. We have to evacuate. And oh my Lord, people were pissed. I mean, I like, I'd be pissed too, but well, come on. Um, so I have to evacuate basically my, I've, back on my ride and then we have to get this half of the park at least the closest two like areas to that ride down and keep in mind this ride is like one off mine so we have to evacuate everybody out of away from that area which is one like two tiny passageways and this is half the park by the way half the park through this tiny passageway and they do not want to move they're having me do a maintenance control because like oh there's a lot of girls working there so I was, I was the guy with the loud voice and all that, like the authority, I guess. So they had me do uh, crowd control and everybody's trying to cram through. The issue was that the people, we have a line of employees, a line of guests are trying to move down through this narrow passageway and the guests that are in that narrow passageway will not move because they are too busy recording the guy on the tower. So a couple fights break loose because people are shoving each other, people are trying to get through. Oh no, that's not good. So I go down there, I brave the crowd, and I basically tell everybody in the area to just get out of here and just move and they, they eventually listen and we'll get everyone out of the park. So this guy stays up on the tower for about four hours. After dark, the park's about to close. This guy's still up there. I mean, you obviously, obviously this one got on the news as well. Uh, like crazy guy climbs the supreme scream tower but uh but yeah he comes down after like four hours and apparently they arrest him and put him in a mental facility um but yeah it was crazy there's helicopters there's drones there's um news across the street every it, it was crazy but uh but yeah that's my stories i mean what i heard after i talked to the guy who was operating the ride because if you um, if you don't know, there's these like maintenance pedals and the um, ride operator switches, and you have to act, keep your foot on that pedal the whole time, and if you take it off, the ride basically shuts down, emergency, all that stuff. So it's kind of stuck there unless there's a really really important situation. But yeah, so he's stuck in the operator presence switch, and he goes for the maintenance ladder. We do not have authorization to follow him, and if we can't follow him, what are we gonna do? Pull him down the ladder? That's that's like not good either and we can't like go up there and like talk him down because if it is if it is a suicide situation we're not allowed to basically make any sudden movements and I'm pretty sure climbing up a 250 foot ladder and then going up there with him is also kind of considered that but yeah a story crazy rides crazy ride stories um i got a bunch of little ones but i'm almost out of time here and uh but yeah don't make it seem like i mean not just overall a great experience is the only two really really crazy situations that happened in a very very long time at the park and overall I, I went back obviously so um i had a great time i don't want you guys to think that like i'm trying to like make you guys not go to knots because i mean these are really 
not, I mean, rare situations, I guess. But yeah, anyways, sorry guys, I've been posting as much. It has been crazy these last couple of years, especially with university. I'm busy, you know, obviously engineering degree. But yeah, but um, I'm going to try to post more, especially now that I have some free time. Because uh, I'm graduating in four weeks, so everything's kind of starting to slow down a little bit in terms of work. I obviously have stuff to do. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys liked the video. And I have plenty more for you guys. All these caller stories have been adding up. Oh my goodness. Got some crazy stories. But yeah, see you guys later, and I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.